In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite offenses in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become through doing daily tips and tricks just like this one that break down the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on everything that is happening here on the channel. All right, guys, so in today's video, we're talking about the trips tight end offense. We're going to give you a, a, a play that I really, really like, um, specifically against man-to-man -man coverage, but it can also be a play that you can use against zone as well as, um, as well as like match coverage. So we're going to go over that here in just a moment. But before we do, I do want to let you know that I actually have a full trips tight end offensive guide that I just released. It's about, it's just $10.00. And it is a very, very effective little uh, passing concept, uh, conceptual guide that you can really, it's very easy to pick up and use it. Um, but anyways, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the PA counter go, specifically how this works against man-to-man -man and match coverage. So the first thing I want to share with you is match coverage. But if you want to get that trips tight end offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. All right, guys. So here's how I like to run this concept um, specifically against some type of match coverage, like a cover four quarters or something like that. What I like to do is I like to take that square receiver, which is the um, so all the way on the left side here, and I like to put him on a curl route. So as you can see right here, he's just gonna be on a simple little curl route. I'm gonna take that triangle receiver and I'm gonna put him on a fade just like this right here. And then I'm gonna take the R1 receiver, which is the running back, I'm gonna put him on an in route and the X receiver, I'm gonna streak him. So as you can see here, so we get some pretty powerful routes. Against the cover four quarters, what's gonna happen is that that circle receiver is oftentimes going to get wide open. One of the things that people don't think about whenever they're explaining how to how to make some really, really good plays against match coverage is they don't they forget that a lot of times what's gonna happen is they're gonna user this guy right here, and then they're gonna drop this guy into like a three rec. So if they're running like a traditional cover four quarters, that's something that they would do. So if you use this adjustment um, or that one little piece of knowledge, what you're gonna find is that you're gonna have a really, really, really nice cover four quarters beater right at the top there, as you can see. If that three rec hook zone does not go to the crosser, that crosser is going to be very consistent against man to man um, or against match. It's still going to be consistent against match. Um, it just doesn't always, uh, it's still going to be very, very consistent against match coverage. As you can see right there, I mean, that was that was just the default cover four quarters, and he's able to beat it. Now, occasionally what I will do just to kind of save myself um, a little bit, you know, it does work a little bit better against match coverage specifically, is I'll put that square receiver on the left side on a little out route. And what you'll notice is that that just creates a lot of spacing. Now, the big key here is that we want to get that running back across the formation relatively quickly because if we can get that running back to come on that little in route right there, that is going to be just huge for the offense. You're going to see this running back just kind of come through on the in route. That's what's going to hold that three wreck. And as you can see, I mean, there is nobody there to stop the crosser. And if you get a good rack catch, you could turn this into a one-play touchdown against the cover four quarters. So as you can see, it's very, very effective. Um, it's very, very effective against match coverage. Now, if they're continuing to run match coverage, you could still literally stay with the same combination. And what you're gonna see, or the, the shift to man coverage, you're gonna have basically a high-low read. Either your running back is gonna be wide open, um, or your crossing route is gonna be wide open. A lot of it does depend a little bit on like how they do at pressing the, the the receiver there so if you have you that's why you want to have your best receiver in that circle receiver spot if he beats the jam he's going to get open against that as you can see right there it gets open on the sideline able to catch it one of the best routes in madden but if for whatever reason he doesn't get open you know if he doesn't get open this play is you you have that check down to the to their back and you also have this little low ball curl route that you can hit specifically because a lot of people are not running one step ahead right now because of the AP changes. They don't have one step ahead on all their corners. And so that just creates just better, better spacing for you. You're able to hit this with consistency. Um, the click on aggressive catch for curls is back and better than it's ever been because there's no one step ahead. So even if they shade underneath, even if they make all the adjustments in the world, 
as long as I click on to this um, to this player here, and I, I didn't get a good click on right there, but as long as I click on to the receiver and I make an attempt to make that man-to-man, -man, um, that catch, what you're gonna see here is basically low ball, click on, and then just do the aggressive catch right there. As you can see, wide open read for me. Now, if they are running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage and you're kind of anticipating man-to-man -man coverage, the one adjustment that I would say tell you is um, to take that to to um, leave the triangle receiver on his route as you can see right here this triangle receiver route along with that r1 on an option route if you did that as well that's another great little feature um that's another little great little feature of the routes in this play so you can use um these other routes to be able to be very consistent as man to man so you see this triangle receiver when he cuts to the outside he's going to beat man to the outside so not very many people use that but if they're running man-to-man -man a lot on you this is something that you can do um, to be able to beat the man-to-man -man coverage now if they're just running traditional zone coverage traditional zone coverage is going to really struggle um, is going to really really struggle against this play because there's just not enough zones in the world to stop it right I mean you're just going to have so many things um, you're stretching them vertically on both sides of the field so if they mess one thing up you can hit them over the top that crossing route is going to do a really good job when you pair that crossing route with a streak um, that is what makes it super super special so when you pair that nice deep crossing route with a streak route um, what you're going to notice is the crossing route is going to become that much more wide open as you can see literally wide open for about 40 to 50 yards on the sideline so this play is super super powerful against man zone and match I would primarily focus on this play as a match coverage beater. It does a very nice job. If they're running a lot of cover four quarters on you, this is a great play for you to be able to use to beat it. But it's a great all-around play in general. And that's what makes this trip side in offensive guide so good is that it allows you to have answers to pretty much anything the defense does no matter what play you're in. So no matter what play you're running, you're going to be able to beat match or you're going to be able to beat quarters or you're going to be able to beat uh, zone drops or man coverage. So I would encourage you, if you have not gotten the trip side in offensive guide yet, it is literally just $10. And I'm going to put a link in the description below for you to be able to get that guide. If you guys have any questions about today's video, I want to encourage you to text me. My number is 208 218-6900. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you want to get that Trips Titan offensive ebook, there's going to be a link in the description.